A horned lizard is a one reptile wrecking crew with a bizarre self-defense strategy who sits motionless in the desert sun, eyeing a young coyote skulking nearby. Five inches long with a crown of horns like a dinosaur, the lizard's mottled skin helps it blend in with the background. Despite their spiky features, shorthorn lizards are preyed upon by a number of creatures including hawks, roadrunners, snakes, lizards, dogs, wolves, and coyotes. Consequently, beyond their natural camouflage, they've adapted a pair of remarkable talents. In order to ward off hungry predators, shorthorn lizards are capable of inflating their bodies up to twice their size, resembling a spiny balloon. Their unusual defense mechanism involves the flooding of their ocular sinuses, tissues found below their eye, with blood. When a horned lizard feels threatened by a predator, its final defense response is to shoot blood from these flooded sinuses and out its eye sockets. To direct a stream of toxic blood directly at its predators. I mean, that is remarkable. As a result, the predator is often frightened and flees. The horned lizard has two constricting muscles that line the major veins around its eye. When these muscles contract, they cut off blood flow back to the heart while it continues to flow into the head. This floods the ocular sinuses with blood, building pressure and causing them to bulge. By further contracting these muscles in a rapid manner, the pressure increases even more, eventually rupturing the thin sinus membranes. The result is a jet stream of blood that can shoot up to four feet from the eye socket, a process known as auto-hemorrhaging. Amazingly, this process can be repeated several times within a short period if necessary, though the mechanism for this rapid recovery is not completely understood. The lizard uses the same mechanism to remove particles from its eye without rupturing the sinus membranes completely. When dirt, soil, or other particles enter the eye, the lizard controls the pressure precisely, allowing the sinuses to swell but no hemorrhage. It then sweeps a thin, transparent third eyelid across the surface of the eye. This membranous eyelid folds back into the front corner of the eye, leaving the debris at the rear corner. The horned lizard then uses the bulging ocular sinuses to draw the debris away from the rear of the eye and onto the eyelid. Once the lizard floods its sinuses with blood, the skin surrounding the eyelids expands, dislocating the debris where it falls off or is otherwise easily removed. To the disappointment of kids who want to see them squirt blood, horned lizards rarely squirt at humans. If you catch one, it'll sit demurely in your palm. It won't bite, it might hiss or pull itself up a little, but only canids and felids like bobcats are treated to a stream of foul-tasting blood. Over recent decades, short-horned lizard populations have been in decline throughout their range. Destruction of their native habitat, efforts to eradicate ants, their staple food, and the pet trade have all contributed to this. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos. Let us know in the comment box below if you have any suggestions for our future videos.